Hi, how you doing? Paul Begley here. Did you hear about the green blob in outer space? Have you heard about it? The Hubble telescope scientist in Seattle, Washington, looked through the Hubble telescope into the skies, deep into the heavens, 650 billion light years away, and they seen a green blob. And when they begin to identify what is this blob with the Hubble telescope, it was brand new stars being created as we speak in the far-flung reaches of the universe that man didn't even know there was anything else left. There in the remote darkness was brand new stars being created as we speak. I thought the creation was over. No, God has never stopped creating because he's the creator. Can I read to you real quick? I got a great article I want to read to you out of the Associated Press from Seattle, Washington. But just before I read it, can I read like three verses from the Holy Bible? Do you got a cup of coffee? I'm Paul Begley. Did I tell you that already? And I'm just a humble servant, a speck of sand. But God loves me. He gave his son for me and he's still creating stars for me. Get your coffee. Come on, get your coffee. Let's have some. Let's have a Bible study. Let's read what it says in the Word real quick. Oh man, that's good coffee. Hey. Oh, it snowed 25.6 inches Sunday in South Bend, Indiana. The biggest snowstorm in 20 in 100 years. That's the same place Notre Dame is. The Fighting Irish. And they tried to get a hold of Al Gore to find out what was going on, but he can't be found. In cold weather, you can't find Al Gore because uh, it's not supposed to be cold, according to him. Oh, let me read. Genesis chapter 1. Oh, Al Gore, I don't want to insult you, but you're not as smart as God. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Aren't you glad he did that? The good from the evil. <laughs> and the light was called day. God called the light day, the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning was the first day. The creator began creating. Now, remember, God has always been. In the beginning is referring to the in the beginning of God's creating hand. But God's always been. God is the creator. He said, I'm Alpha, I'm Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the first and I'm the last. All right, now let's quickly read from the Associated Press. i got to have a little more coffee. I'm just having such a great day today. This green blob has got me pumped. Can I read it to you? Associated Press. Let's go there right now. Come on, let's go together, all right? From Seattle, Washington, the Emerald City, one of my favorite cities I love to go to. Hey, yes, I do. All right, the Hubble Telescope. The, the Hubble Space Telescope got its first peek at this mysterious green giant, green blob that's in outer space and found that it is strangely alive. Really? <laughs> the bizarre glowing blob is giving birth to new stars. Now, this is science. This is science telling us that God is still creating out there. Some, only a couple million years old, they're in remote areas of the universe where stars don't normally form. The blob of gas was first discovered by a Dutch school teacher, an elementary school teacher from Netherlands in 2007 and is named the Voorwoop. Voorwoop is Dutch for project. NASA released the new Hubble pictures on Monday at the American Astronomical Society in a meeting here in Seattle, Washington. Parts of the green blob are collapsing and the resulting pressure from that is creating the stars. The stellar nurseries are outside of the normal galaxy, which is usually where stars live. 
that makes these very lonely newborn stars that are in the middle of nowhere. But maybe the middle of nowhere is in the middle of somewhere because God is everywhere. <laughs> Woo, I'm just pumped right now. So, Bill Keel, the University of Alabama astronomical, who examined this green blob, says the blob is a giant size, but it's out of, it's about the size of our Milky Way galaxy here. And it's 650 million light years away. And every light year is 6 trillion miles because every second light travels at the speed of 186,000 miles a second. Now, the blob is mostly hydrogen gas swirling from a close encounter of two galaxies and it glows because it's illuminated by a quasar in one of these galaxies. A quasar is this bright object full of energy powered by who? By the hand of God. Now, the blob was discovered by an elementary teacher. Her name is Hanny Van Arkel, not Rip Van Winkle, okay? <laughs> and she was only 24 at the time that she spotted this strange phenomenon. After researchers got involved, they found out it's an entire whole new concept of stars are being birthed outside of our realm of possibilities, outside of human existence's imagination, outside of our ability to even comprehend in the consciousness of the human soul, God is still birthing and creating and reshaping his great, great plan. Now, my question is for you is, is that why God's dropping the dead birds out of the sky, floating up the millions of fish from the sea, causing eyeless fish to float up in New Zealand? Is it the hand of God that's sending us signs, warning us of soon the return of his son, who's going to reshape this earth? Matter of fact, the Bible says this is going to be a new heaven, there's going to be a new earth wherein dwells righteousness. The sin, the corruption, the abortions, the murder, the anger, the hate, the despair, the racism, the abortions and the abominations. God is to the point of his disgust with sin. And he's warning us. He is truly warning us that time is running out. How come we can't see that his word is true he said, let my word be true and every man a liar. Paul Begley is nothing but just a speck of sand. In the big picture, I'm nothing. I'm absolutely nothing. I'm irrelevant. I'm insignificant. Yet in God's eyes, I'm so important that he gave his son to leave the portals of glory to step down off his great white throne and to come here on the earth, become a little baby born of a virgin in a town called Bethlehem in a barn. The baby came, preached his gospel, healed the sick, raised the dead, opened the blind eyes, helped the cripples walk, cured the leprosy, delivered the demoniac, the demons of hell, and offered us a plan of salvation to freely receive died as a sacrifice on the perfect plan, the cross, rose from the dead the third day with the keys of hell and death, reshaping, recreating another opportunity, just like the green blob, 650 million light years away. You don't believe that the birds are from God's hand, do you? You want somebody to tell you it's not. Because if scientists can't tell you it's not, then that means maybe God is coming back. And if he's coming back, you're not ready because you haven't been asking him into your heart. You haven't been calling on him. Don't be afraid of the green blob glowing in outer space. Embrace it. It's not an alien. It's God himself. 
<laughs> I'm Paul Begley. <laughs> oh, I love science because science always proves God right. I'm Paul Begley. A speck of sand. A humble servant of the Lord.